So one of the things we do on this show is we, we bury ourselves pretty good. Do you have any stories where you're like, oh my God, what a... I mean, you kind of told us one with, with Shelton, but is there one where you're like, what a greenie I was? Or like, I walked into the situation and just completely shit the bed? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I... So this may, maybe isn't exactly what you're looking for, but this just came to mind. So I was doing um, extra work. <laughs> yes, this is exactly what we're looking for, Hammer. <laughs> And I had done extra work plenty of times. In fact, I already had like I already had my tryout coming up. Like and it was like a couple weeks away. And the thing is, like anyone who knows how it works, the only reason you do extra work is to do a good like match at SmackDown or whatever before the show. Good enough for them to go, hey, let's give this guy a tryout. And then the tryout is where you get actually signed. So I had no reason to even do the extra work i just thought like well it's a payday i'll be i'll make some more face with everybody be more familiar and uh you know it's it's, it was in arizona so it was like no big deal i'm like immediately like i like i was in my suit and i made sure they didn't need anything and then like i took my shirt coat off and went to the top and then like when i was by the ring i was just in my trunks hanging out um and keep in mind, there's like 12 extras there. There's like a lot of people for some reason. But then anyway, we're by the ring and they like they come over and they're like, hey, uh, we're going to do a match, but we only have room for time for one. We want you. And they picked me. And then he goes, and like he was like trying to figure out who to pick. It's really weird. He's like, and um, and you. And they picked like from a visual standpoint – if you were like to look at the group and say, who do you think's the worst wrestler? You pick- <laughs> so we're walking to the ring and I get side by side with him. And as we're walking, I go, tell me three things you do well. And he just goes, uh, I don't know. Just call stuff for me. <laughs> tell me one thing you do. And he goes, I don't know. Just call stuff. And I get, and I go, I go okay, finish the bicycle kick. And then we get in the ring. So I am like talking this guy step by step through this match and he's literally messing up every single thing. I can. <laughs> Dude, this guy tried to clothesline me eight times in the match. <laughs> I on any of them, except finally, um, I have him down in a hold because we're, we're, we've worked through the heat. I have him down a hold. I was like, we're going to work toward, towards the comeback. What can you do? He goes, I don't know. Just, 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 and he's getting up. Like he's getting up. <laughs> You getting up like but he works his way up and then he hits me and he did it he's like i don't know i don't know i don't know and then he hits me and he takes off to the ropes <laughs> what do me and he comes back with a clothesline <laughs> and, no bump. and i'm just so mad at this point i'll like, do it again and he fucking does it again i don't bump and i'm like do it again and then i had him duck my line and finally i bump off of clothesline number eight in the match <laughs> <laughs> and I feed to the corner and I'm like, okay, he's going to come in and he's going to do one of two things. He's going to come in with like a big splash and I could sell it for him or he's going to come over and he's going to try to shoot me and I can reverse him <clears throat> and tell him what I want to do next. But in that split second, I see him starting to run. So I'm like, okay, he's going to splash me and then, or, you know, clothesline or forearm or whatever. No, he's gonna- he just, in a split second decision, I was like, you know what? Fuck this guy. <laughs> so I moved out of the way. So he just took the turnbuckle and he doesn't he, like, he doesn't know what's coming next and he's not smart enough to have common sense. So he takes the turnbuckle and he turns around and before he even started to turn, I was already throwing the bicycle kick. <laughs> and when he took out, his fucking head off and pinned him one, two, three. And then road dog was like, God damn, someone check on that guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here's the, the shits of it all. I was friends with one of the referees, and I'm, I'm pissed at this point. Like, I was so mad because I, like, I had the tryout coming up, and I, was, I didn't even have to do this extra work, but now I made a bad impression instead of just going in neutral. And one of the referees, like, pulls me aside later in the hallway, and he's like, dude, they were ribbing you. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they they tried to put you in there with a doofus because they said you were walking around backstage with your shirt off like a big fucking fat ass. <laughs> Mike, I told you, right? Yeah, I told yeah, you. Yeah. That's funny. Uh, 
Well, that's good. That we uh, we love living, listening to the extra work because that's some of the best stories ever. <laughs>